Well, thank you for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope, where we pray for you because we believe in the power of prayer, because we're praying to the true and living God of the universe who hears our prayers and who answers them in his own timing because his timing is perfect and his timing will always be perfect. His timing has never once not been perfect. And also, when we share the good news of Jesus Christ, which truly brings salvation to you if you believe by faith alone and repent of your sins and also he offers you eternal life if you accept him. Which is the best gift. Amen? Well, brothers and sisters, family, friends, thank you guys for tuning into this video on this Tuesday. Um, or whenever you guys are watching this video. Um, today's topic, we're going to be talking about our tongues. You guys might be like saying, tongues? Yes, tongues. We got a really good topic to talk about today. So I hope you guys are ready to be encouraged and ready to hear the word of God. We're going to be in Proverbs 18, verse 21. You guys ready? All right, without further ado, flip to Proverbs 18, verse 21. The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Friends, let's talk. Let's pray. Father God, would you be with us as we dig into this topic about the tongue? Would you speak to us? Teach us what you want us to learn and grow us into more faithful disciples of you that love you, that love your word. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, let's talk about the tongue. You guys might be like saying, Shane, what about the tongue is so important? What about the tongue? Well, and I'm going to answer you guys about the tongue. Have you ever said a bad word? Have you ever lied? Friends, how did you lie? How did you say that bad word? You opened up your mouth. You open up your mouth. Another word for mouth, tongue. Have you ever heard of the word hold your tongue? Be, be slow to speak and qu be quick to, be slow to speak and quick to listen. Be slow to speak and slow to listen. Yeah, I think that's how it goes. Uh, friends, we need to listen more and be slow to speak. Be quick to listen and slow to speak. We need to be listen more and be slow to speak. We have to. How many of you guys want to offend someone by you, by swearing at them, by lying to them? How many of you want to be lied to? I know I don't want to be lied to. How many of you guys want to want to hear a swear word? How many of you guys are encouraged when you hear swear words? Put your hands up. Or let me know in the comments below. I know from my personal experiences that I'm not encouraged when I hear swear words. I don't like when I am lied to. And I think I can speak for all of you watching this video that I don't think any of us like being in these shoes. The tongue has the power of life and death. If you're lying, if you're swearing, that is ultimately death, friends. That is ultimately death. Even though you're not dying, that is ultimately death. Because you're speaking death to people. You're not bringing hope. Why do, why have we done these videos all these years? That we have done these videos to bring hope to people. Because this world. I'm only going to do two examples because I don't want to. We we'll, we'll talk more about this at a later date, but I'm going to only do two examples because. Be that be that I want to. I feel like now is not the best time to bring this issue up, but. 
Did you guys ever heard of the pandemic? Did you guys ever heard? Have you guys? Have you guys gotten any bad news in your family? Brothers and sisters, let me just say. How did that make you feel? Did that fill you with hope? Or did that feel? Or did, it, did that make you feel less hopeful? Another word for less hopeful, speaking death. And what is still happening, the pandemic is still going on. And you know what? We don't need to, it's okay. We don't need to give in to those, the, the talk that the world is hyping up about the pandemic. We don't need to. We can take our eyes off of the, the, what the world is saying and put our eyes on Jesus and put our eyes on something that will fill us up with hope, which is Jesus. Jesus does fill us up with hope. And this is what we have been doing with these videos all year round, all year long. We've been speaking hope to, to you guys, reminding you of, you of hope. We need to be reminded of hope because this world doesn't do a good job of reminding us of hope. This world does a good, good job of reminding us how it means to be depressed. But, but God wants to be reminded us, remind us of hope. This is why you should go to church because the church will fill you with hope. Whether you believe it or not, it will. And that's my prayer for you, that you will be filled with hope. And that we will control our tongues and we'll be slow to speak and quick to listen. We need to be quick to listen and slow to speak. Oh, that's my prayer for you all. That we will think twice before we let some words come out of our mouth. Or, um, yeah, before we let words come out of our mouth, or before we lie, that we will be quick. That we will be quick to listen and slow to speak. And we'll take every thought captive before God. Amen, friends? Amen. Well, if you've never came to God before, I'm going to give you the, call, the chance to come to God right now because this topic might be pretty hard for you to hear. You might be like saying, the tongue is the power to kill, life to death, and anyone who loves the tongue, he, yes. I know this topic might be pretty hard, but we're going to get you on the right track to this topic to become easier for you to understand. Here's what you do first. You pray a simple prayer of faith like this by believing in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. Repeat after me. Father God, I confess I am a sinner. I confess my need for you. Please come into my life, Lord. I cannot do this life without you. I need you, Lord. Amen. Well, if you just prayed that prayer today for the first time, or re-pray that prayer known as the prodigal son, then I want to welcome you into the family of God for the first time. I welcome you back into the family of God. Because scripture says when one walks into the family of God, or one walks back in, heaven rejoices, and I rejoice along with you. And I've been praying for this moment, because this is truly the most important decision that you can ever make with your life, by accepting the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and accepting life of Him forever. It's the most important decision. The sword will tell you otherwise, but I'll tell you the truth. Out of my mouth. <laughs> Using my tongue. Um, well, if you just made this decision today for the first time, I encourage you to reach out to me or to someone because we want to give you resources and next steps to take on this journey. We're not going to mock you. We're not going to press you. We just want to walk alongside you and let you know what's next on this journey of this important decision that you made today. But most importantly, we just want to be praying for you because we believe in the power of prayer here. We truly do. And we truly mean it. Um, so we just want to be praying, praying for you as you continue along this journey over the next however many years God blesses you. Well, brothers and sisters, are you guys ready to receive the blessing before I send you on your way into the world? And when you put your hands up, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you. And may you never forget that the tongue is powerful. It brings life or it brings death. And anyone who loves it will eat its fruit. Friends, go in peace. If you were encouraged by this video and feel like someone else needs to be encouraged by it, please click that share button. We cannot hold back sharing the word, so if we are compelled to share it, then click that share button. If you need hope, if you need prayer, if you just need to talk to someone, I'm here for you. 
Email me, message me. We cannot do this life alone, but we can do it when we are stronger together in, in community. Amen? God bless you all, and have a great day. Peace.